coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. They may need to replace some of the lights in the Carroll scoreboard because last Friday night the Chargers lit it up. Carroll with an eye-popping 76 points in a key conference win. And with that, we're proud to honor the Chargers as your Optimum Performance Sports Team of the Week. I'm Dr. Ian Nelson with Fort Wayne Orthopedics and Ops. Wishing the congratulations to this week's Team of the Week. Great job, team. Welcome back for another Team of the Week sponsored by Optimum Performance Sports. We're out here at Carroll High School with the Carroll Chargers football team, head coach Doug Dynan. Coach, thank you so much for joining me. What a, what a crazy week last week. You guys moved to 3-0, scored 76 points in your road to winning. What went in to, to that offensive explosion? Well, the... The need was to continue to put points on the board because Northside has a very explosive offense and, and they were scoring you know, very quickly as well. And so it was the offense's job to you know, put points on the board. And the defense made a couple of stops, created one score in the run. I love your mindset, how you guys take it week by week and don't look to the next week until it's that time. Going through this SAC gauntlet, what is it going to take to just stay at that number one position? I'll even take it one further than that, Colton, and that's it's, it's you got to win the moment. I've got to win this one moment, this time, and you know, and within the practice, this, this one drill, and we've got to focus within that. And, and if we continue to play, you know, concerning ourselves only with one play, one down, one game at a time, and then our focus will be there. And we're not going to worry about anything else. And, you know, right now we're concerned about Tuesday. We're concerned about playing against Northrop. We're concerned about being elite on the field today, meaning the best that I can be today and better today than I was yesterday. And so, you know, all those things sound, sound cliched, but when you put the blinders on and, and you focus only on this one minute, then you don't concern yourself and have anxiety about future coming. So as we mentioned, 76 points these Carroll Chargers scored last week against Northside. So for our challenge today, we're going to do a little something a little fun. It's another minute to win it style of game. We have M&Ms on this plate. Every player has a straw, two offensive players, two defensive players. They have 19 M&Ms apiece, 38 on each side, 76 total. Whoever can transfer their M&Ms to the plate with no M&Ms remaining, that's your winner. Coach said they don't have to run a mile after practice, so this is a big one. Oh, yeah. You guys ready? Oh, he first said that. Count this down. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. <laughs> We'll talk. Last week, oh my goodness, man. I mean, 76 points you got your offense put up. What was the key behind that success? Yeah, it was just, you know, we came out after every drive and we just did what we had to, you know. We, we, had, a, we had a good opening drive, started with a touchdown, then, you know, got sacked, but we didn't let it get to us after a three and out the second drive. But we just, you know, we stuck to what we knew and just competed at the top level that we thought we could. Obviously a very long season, nowhere close to being done, but how impressed have you been with your guys' start? Yeah, I've been, uh, been really impressed, uh, like you said. You know, there's things we got to improve, but I think, like Coach Diamond always says, it's like a ladder. You know, we're on rung four now, and we got to keep taking it week by week and keep getting better every single week. Congratulations to the Carroll Chargers football team. They're your OPS team of the week.